Hello and welcome to another episode of Madam Suzanne Tidbits. Today, I'm going to share with you an extensive story of the money I've made and lost over a 40 year period or 35. A little bit before I started the escort service business and during and after. I got to tell you, this is a very, very hard video for me to, to uh, make because I'm currently dealing with uh, serious financial troubles compared to the lifestyle I've lived. And as I always said, it's, it's, it's one thing to go from here to the bottom. And it's another thing to go from way up here to the bottom, right? Uh, the fall is a lot higher. The higher the fall, the harder, uh, you know, the, the, the harder and the more it hurts. Okay. So before I started the escort service business, I uh, used to be involved in other illegal activities. And I would average anywhere at the height of my career in that from 85 to 90, let's just say 95. Uh, I ended up averaging about 100, 150,000 a week in profits. And one thing I always had a weakness for is money management. I've never really managed my money or saved my money. I've always was under the impression that, uh, hey, listen, uh, I, I made a whole ton of money. Uh, the faucet is open. The floodgates are open. It's never going to close. Now I know that to be so untrue. Along with uh, several other legal businesses I've had, I'm sure you've ta heard me talk about it in my book, Madam Suzanne, in my second book, How I Made a Million Dollars a Year as an Upscale Escort, I spoke of the legal businesses I've had over the years. I started with the restaurant business when I was going to college. I did not own it. I worked for a company that trained me how to become a successful restaurant manager. And then I moved into the nightclub business. I uh, owned one with two partners in San Diego and one on my own in Richards, California. I sold that, moved to Hawaii, and I had a successful show called Island Dolls in the 90s. And then I moved to Las Vegas and had a successful uh, limo service and transportation company and also a uh, online web design and web marketing company. And then, of course, I started the online escort service in the late 90s. At the height of my career in the escort service, I was averaging roughly around 100 to 200 a week. That's 1,000. And that's having 220 escorts at all times, up to 250. And I would average about 300 appointments a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Las Vegas is a whole different animal, whole different business plan. And you just go, go, go 24-7. And that was part of the, the Vegas experience. And we had our heyday and all the through the 2000s. So that was extremely profitable for everybody involved. I've always had a big house. I preferred 8,000 square foot or bigger. And I've always averaged about seven or eight cars, really nice cars. I like Mercedes, Rolls Royce, Ferraris, Lamborghinis and such. So those come at a hefty price. And of course, the upkeep and the insurance and the house and everything else, uh, the help and all that. Uh, spent heavily on uh, travel. I've traveled pretty much all over the world. I've traveled uh, everywhere but Australia, New Zealand and the Orient, which I plan on doing one day after I'm retired. And after COVID, of course. Um, and I've, I've spent as much as I can uh, helping other people, uh, whether it's friends, acquaintances, family, and such. 
So it's been uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, I wish I had 10% of the money I spent. I'll never have to worry about money for the rest of my life. Uh, I sat down and tried to estimate how much money I've made over the course of the last, say, 30 years or 35 years and uh, between legal and illegal endeavors. And I can tell you the best number I could come up with is around 50. Uh, that's million. And this last, uh, last fall in Orange County, I was averaging about 75 a week and I took about 25 out for expenses for both personal and business because I had 12 places. So it was very expensive. I had a high overhead around 60,000 a month. So um, I had a big house and cars and all that. And I love nice clothes at the time. I loved cars. I loved nice, comfortable houses. I still do. Uh, but now my, my taste has changed. I'm just more down to earth, <clears throat> excuse me, and more content, as my mom would put it. <clears throat> so um, the Orange County experience had definitely uh, put a big damper on me financially. Uh, the government kept around altogether about 10 million which is pretty much all I had. Uh, like I said before, I've made a mistake of not taking care of phase two, which is what are you going to do with the cash once you have suitcases full of it? Especially obtaining it in illegal means. Uh, but I do believe in myself. I do believe that we live in the best country on earth to start over and take advantage of the obstacles I've been through and listen, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And I'm telling this to everybody that's lost everything or on the verge of collapse, especially with this COVID and people, a lot of people losing their businesses, their homes. I got to tell you, failure is not an option, man. Go watch my video about failure is not an option. Staying positive. All those motivational videos that I believe in, I live my life through. I do believe that anything is possible. There's no such thing as impossible because impossible is spelled I am possible. And I do believe that I will make a comeback. I may not be as well off, but it doesn't matter because all you need is just a little bit of money and you can live happily. Money does not make you happy, does not help you be happy. Money make things a lot more comfortable, for sure. A little less stressful, a lot easier. However, money does not buy you happiness. Take it from me, 100%. So I did lose a lot of money, but I had a lot of fun. There's no regrets. You play, you pay. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? So once again, this was a, a very rough video for me to even admit to or make because it hurts especially nowadays uh, the way i'm living however uh, i've always told you i'll be honest and forthcoming full disclosure and this is one of those things that i had to share with you thank you so much for joining me again please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like and leave me a comment if you'd like me to talk about anything else. If you have any other questions, I'd love to answer any and all your questions. Happy New Year. 2021 is going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. Stay positive. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And be happy. And if you have not found your happiness, please dig way deep inside of you. Happiness is specific to every person. Find whatever makes you happy and do it as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. You are entitled and deserving of being happy. Thank you so much and hope to see you Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do my live streamings and that's when you can ask me any question you want. It's an open forum. I usually have a subject lined up 
And if you have any, any type of um, suggestions for any video or subjects or anything like that or questions, please do so. Thank you so much once again. I really appreciate you. And let's make 2021 the best year ever. Goodbye, and I'll see you soon.